today was another struggle with this illness, um, figuring out ways to move my arms and legs when they wouldn't respond, um, and trying to communicate with people on the phone and various emails. I did speak to Compassion and Choices today, and um, they started talking to me about their end of life counseling that they do for people that are in the terminal phase of the illness. And then they looked up notes on my case and realized I'd called many times before about this issue of um, neurodegenerative illnesses not qualifying for the dying with dignity laws. Um, so there was some friction in the conversation because they've spoken to me many times um, and they're not going to change their position about advocating for people with incurable illnesses and having this right um, to access the dying with dignity medication. Um, the lady that spoke to me was very um, compassionate and she offered um, some ideas as to how people in this country right now, apparently a lot of them, are figuring out solutions when they don't when they find out that they don't qualify um, and we talked a lot about dehydration um, where essentially you stop drinking and eating under careful supervision and within a certain amount of time you're considered hospice eligible um, and then you are given uh, intravenous medications, morphine, um, fentanyl to alleviate the pain while the body dehydrates. Um, and this is apparently completely legal, but it is uh, confusing to me how to initiate this process first because I'm not hospice eligible and I have to be uh, in a setting that's amenable to this. I have to have people supporting me, a lot of support really. Um, and for somebody who's still pretty young um, and not otherwise deteriorating, this would take potentially a long amount of time. And it would be gruesome, I think, for others to watch. So for me, the VSED is not really an option. Uh, so here we are again, uh, really realizing that I, if I don't call this organization uh, Final Exit, I have to go to Switzerland and all the strength and energy it's going to take. Uh, so I spoke to Compassion and Choices today um, and that that really was essentially the big moment. Um, I'm going to try in my video diaries to talk very candidly about what it is that I experience with this form of they're calling progressive MS. Really, they don't know what MS is. Um, they're calling a lot of things MS. I believe that in some instances it might actually just be totally environmental and i.e. toxic exposures, this kind of thing. So I want to speak about that in my video diaries, but um, have to also talk about this determination, self-determination uh, piece because essentially um, after doing so many video diaries documenting this, I'm going to have to get on that plane to Life Circle Eternal Spirit Foundation. Um, so this is a rather short video diary. I'm going to have a cup of tea and then come back and, and talk a little bit more. Thank you.